Hello friends, welcome to another Darktable tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate how to use the color mapping module. But what is actually the color mapping module and how it works? The color mapping module enables us to take the color pixels from one image to the other. When you want to color grade an image, by using this module, we can simply apply the colors from any properly graded image. So ultimately, this module makes our jobs much easier instead of using different color modules to fine-tune our images. My name is Mudasil Sain and welcome to my channel Living Image. If you are new to this channel, please consider subscribing. I publish weekly tutorials on photography, editing and tech. Anyways, without further ado, let's get started. Right, we have got two different images here. We are going to use the first image as color source. I mean, we are going to acquire color from this image. And then we will apply the acquired color to the second image to bring even more saturated afternoon light in the image. To do that, we go to the first image. And then we find the color mapping module from the color tab. If you do not see this module under color menu, then simply search it here. First, activate the color mapping module by clicking on this little icon if it is not activated already. And then reset everything just in case if you have acquired color pixels from other images before. And then we can adjust the number of color clusters by using this line. Please note that present clusters will be resetted when you adjust the cluster numbers. Anyways, three clusters would be enough for this image since there are not many colors in it. And then we can adjust the color dominance and histogram equalization. But we are not changing this now. We are going to adjust them in the next image where we apply the colors. Now, most importantly, we acquire the color source from this image. As you can see, we have got all the dominant colors here. Dark orange type mainly from the face area, blue from the background and light orange from the foreground area. Okay, now we go to the next image where we want to apply the colors. Now we will have to activate the color mapping module similarly and reset all the previous settings. When you are ready, just click on this acquire as target option here. As you can see, the image has been modified a lot and we have got a total new look as far as color grading is concerned. Now we can adjust the color dominance and histogram equalization level according to our own preference. And then if we do not want to apply the colors to the entire image, we can also use a mask. In that case, drone and parametric mask would be ideal in my opinion. From there, we can use a circle, ellipse, path or gradient mask to modify selectively if we do not want to enhance the entire picture. So friends, this is a great tool in my opinion to save time in color grading. More importantly, this tool helps us to learn about color balance. I hope this tutorial will help you. Thanks for watching. I will see you next time. Goodbye.